Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, you're all very welcome to Trinity College, he says, as if he's just been given a professorship. Um, my name is Barry Andrews. I'm the Director General of the Institute of International and European Affairs. And this is the fifth in a series on populism that we are co-hosting with Trinity College Dublin since uh, last summer. And uh, we are working on a policy paper uh, looking at the uh, implications of the, uh, the rise to prominence of uh, populist parties across Europe and some of the implications for Ireland. And we're very, very privileged to uh, be joined by a very distinguished speaker today, uh, Dr. Laura Ferrara, who, uh, PhD, who is um, working incredibly hard in the European Parliament for the uh, Cinque Stelle uh, movement as an MEP. Um, her uh, list of rapporteurships is incredibly long and um, it really is, is, is quite, quite excellent. Uh, to introduce the, uh, uh, the, uh, today's event, uh, what I, I'd like to ask uh, Professor Gizam Arikan, who's the assistant professor in the, in the Department of Political Science, who uh, delivers a course on uh, political psychology here in Trinity College, to make some uh, introductory remarks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, I am also at the same time uh, today representing Trinity Research in Social Sciences, uh, which is co-hosting this event with uh, IIEA. Uh, Trinity Research in Social Sciences was founded in 2015 uh, to support uh, and advance world leading research in the social sciences. It brings together social uh, scientists from across the university and around the world uh, and hosts various events uh, with the aim of supporting and fostering social science research. Uh, Tris has uh, recently started this exciting collaboration with the IIEA that includes a series of talks and workshops uh, regarding current social and political issues, uh, including uh, Brexit, migration, and uh, populism. Uh, and in fact, this is uh, one of the uh, talks in the uh, series titled uh, Populism and Challenges to the Liberal Order. Uh, in her address today, Dr. Ferreira will discuss the history and rise to the power of the Five Star Movement, which is a new grouping uh, that became the largest political party in Italy in the March 2018 elections. She will argue that the Five Star Movement is a political association without ideologies, but with ideas, principles, and values. Uh, that wants to put the needs and the rights of the citizens at the heart of political decision making. Um, so it is uh, with our pleasure. That thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So finally, uh, just to uh, introduce the speaker, uh, Lara Ferrara is a member of the European Parliament with the Five Star Movement, which, uh, as Gizan has just described, describes itself as an Italian political movement that promotes direct participation of citizens in the management of public affairs. Following her election to the European Parliament in 2014, she was appointed Vice Chair of the Committee on Legal Affairs, and she is also a member of the Committee on Civil Liberties, Justice and Home Affairs. She previously worked as a lawyer, and she received her PhD in Theory and History of Human Rights at the University of Florence. Prior to this, she received her MA in Law from the University of Bologna and her BA in Law from the University of Calabria. So please put your phones on silent, if you would, if you would, and also the opening remarks are on the record and the Q&A is under Chatham House Rule. Dr. Lara Frau. So good afternoon. Thank you very much for inviting me to deliver a speech at this prestigious institute here in Dublin. So my name is Laura Ferrara and I'm a, an Italian member of the European Parliament since uh, uh, 2014. This is my very first political as well as institutional experience, even if I have on my shoulders years of activism in the field of human rights. When I ran from the European Parliament, I was only a 30 years old citizen without uh, public institutional experiences exactly like the other 16 EP members and the other uh, 150 members of the Italian parliament elected within the Five Star Movement. You should, know, ask, uh, you should now ask you how it is possible that a group of simple citizens, uh, even if very confident in the necessity to drive a political change through democratic institutions, could run for a seat and win at the very first attempt, becoming the spokesperson of the first Italian political movement. 
all of this has been possible uh, thanks to the idea of two persons, Beppe Grillo and Gian Roberto Casaleggio, the two founding fathers of the Five Star Movement. They took account of the huge distance of citizens from political institutions that has been caused by professional politicians. A distance that, uh, on the one side, left politicians free to serve their own interests more than the public interest, with consequence in terms of corruption, mismanagement, and inefficiency. On another side, this distance uh, resulted in a great discontent as well as in the spread of a sentiment of disaffection towards the democratic institutions, uh, such as uh, the parliament, suffered by the Italian citizens. In this connection, Beppe Grillo and Gianroberto Casaleggio understood that it was necessary to cut the distance in order to give back the political power as well as the sovereignty to the people. The main instrument to cut this distance, in their opinion, was to promote the participation of the people to the decisional power through all the possible direct democracies means. Therefore, in the 2005, they started promoting the self-organization of group of citizens through several, several local meetup all over the country, having always as a guide and a point of reference the blog bepegrillo.it uh, that during those years uh, was one of the most prominent and followed political and information blog of the world. Through the internet and the social gathering and meeting platforms, uh, thousands of citizens who, who followed the blog Beppe Grillo upon it and Grillo's shows met daily together to learn, deepen, talk about issues of society and to carry out concrete battles on renewable energy, sustainable mobility, zero waste, fight against corruption and mafias, public water, ethical economy, fight against land consolidation, participated in direct democracy and many others. So the goal was not to occupy a seat in a city council or in parliament, but to be informed, to inform people, to change society and politics with new projects that arise directly from citizens themselves. In this connection, citizens started to bring their voices to the municipalities through popular petitions and motions of popular initiatives. Meetup, an international instrument, became in Italy the first spontaneous gathering opportunity for social utility, a tool to share ideas and proposals. And in a short time, the groups born on the internet challenged the political and institutional system of the country, promoting a renewal from below, and the people started to respond by creating a critical mass able to reason on real problems and sustainable solutions. Two years after the first political public uh, reunion of the blog followers and activists uh, that has been held in Bologna on the 80th of uh, September 2007, Beppe John Roberto decided to found the movement with the aim to actively participate to the political and decisional process through the elections. So on the 8th of March 2009 in Florence was launched the project Liste Civiche five, five Star, so Five Star Civic Lists project. Each star representing a fundamental battle of meetups, the public water, zero waste and sustainable development, renewable energies and energy efficiency, sustainable mobility, connectivity. These are the five stars. In the municipal elections of May 2009, more than 40 five-star municipal councillors have been elected. In summer 2009, Beppe Grillo decides uh, to be candidate to the post of secretary of the Democratic Party, but his candidacy was excluded by the board of the Democratic Party. And this was the last attempt to try to have a dialogue with uh, the traditional party system. In this occasion, Piero Fassino, one of the most prominent leaders of the Democratic Party, said about by Pegrillo, let's make a party of his own, and let's see how much votes he takes. And uh, it was a sort of prophecy for us, because uh, yeah, in the 4th of October 2000, 2009, at the Teatro Smeraldo in uh, Milan, Beppe Grillo and Gianroberto Casaleggio announced the birth of 
Five Star Movement and launched a program with the idea of creating a new civic awareness through the use of the internet as a mean for democratic democracy and collective participation as a new way to do politics. A movement uh, and not a party outside the traditional left-right uh, left paradigms. So the movement was born on the day when San Francesco, the patron saint of Italy, is celebrated with the aim of raising it to a dimension that is not that narrow and myopic of politics, but that without limits of the spirit and uh, of human beings. So the Five Star Movement contains in five points, the five stars, the main key points of the program that I said to you before. The pivotal battles carried out by the Five Star Movement are clear and incisive. Stop to the privileges of the political class, stop to condemned people in the parliament, stop to the waste of public money, more transparency and accessibility to public records. Furthermore, the characteristics, the characteristics required to be candidates and for uh, future members or of public bodies represented an absolute uh, novelty in the Italian political uh, landscape and uh, a specific future of the Five Star Movement. So candidates must be without criminal records. Members of the parliament have to cut drastically their salaries. Maximum two electoral mandates are allowed. Independency from any other party, it has no political alliances. So the Five Star Movement does not have a party structures uh, made of uh, secretariats and uh, intermediaries, but each one can be registered to the movement blog via internet in a certified way through his identity card. Each member of the movement can vote and make uh, direct decisions or make proposals through the internet blog. In October 2012, Beppe Grillo swam the Strait of Messina that divide the Italian peninsula from Sicily to demonstrate that nothing is impossible. And uh, in the regional elections, always in uh, 2012, the Five Star Movement becomes the first political force of the Sicil uh, Sicilian Regional Assembly. It was the first boom of the Five Star Movement and this huge success was followed by the incredible result of the national elections of 2013, when the Five Star Movement became, at its first attempt, the first political force represented in the Italian parliament. After five years of strong opposition against the traditional parties, we won the national elections of the 4th of March uh, 2018, with the 32% of score. Unfortunately, due to a bad electoral law written against us, uh, against us as uh, frankly said by uh, the other uh, traditional parties, we had to search an agreement with other political forces elected in the parliament in order to form a government uh, and uh, enforce the points of our electoral program. First of all, the introduction of the reddito di cittadinanza that is the main point for us. It has the minimum income to struggle poverty and uh, then the, the, the reform of the pension scheme law uh, to let people go to pension and create new jobs. But I will uh, take, uh, talk about it, uh, this topic uh, later. So now I would like to tell you what is, in a nutshell, the Five Star Movement before introducing the argument of direct democracy. The Five Star Movement is a free association of citizens. It's not a political party, nor it will become in the future. The movement uh, has no leftist or rightist uh, ideologies, but just ideas. And it wants to achieve an efficient and effective exchange of opinions and democratic considerations outside of association and party ties, and without the mediation of governing or representative bodies. The movement, the movement aims at recognizing to the totality of citizens the role of government and address usually allocated to few people. It's an ambitious goal that we will pursue through the affirmation of direct democracy that in our opinion is the future of democracy. In the future, in fact, parliaments uh, could be considered obsolete thanks to the evolution of internet and digital, digital uh, technologies. The legislative power then will be exercised directly by citizens. 
Today, some bodies still think that internet does not allow participation in political life. Some bodies are still convinced that the 19th century model of organizing politics is here to stay. There are nowadays systems able to connect a large number of people that have also emerging properties that are going to produce revolutionary changes. These systems allow us to build communities based on models of production and distribution of knowledge and, uh, imaginable until uh, a few years ago. This is also happening for models of democratic participation in political life connecting people, giving them the opportunity to share resources, to decide, to train, to take actions on their territory, brings out from forms of digital and participatory citizenships that until a few years ago were very hard even to imagine. According with uh, these thoughts, Rousseau, the operating system of Five Star Movement, has been developed. The goal of Rousseau is the management of the Five Star Movement in its various elective components, uh, Italian and uh, European parliaments, regional and uh, uh, municipal councils, as well as the participation of the members of the Five Star Movement, first of all, their activists. Through, for example, the drafting of laws and uh, the vote for the choice of electoral lists or to settle position within the Five Star Movement. Anyone can access the Rousseau website as a guest, but to access uh, all the functions, uh, it is necessary to be enrolled in the Five Star Movement by a verified registration that requires the exhibition of a certified document. Since its launch, Rousseau has developed 11 functions, and today Rousseau has over uh, 100,000 registered members. Since we started voting online, there have been uh, 232 votes on Rousseau. Rousseau is the more clear proof that a new model of participation is possible. And Rousseau shows that the concept of democracy is evolving. In our opinion, democracy is, in general terms, having the opportunity to participate proactively to all the democratic decisions of the community where we live at every level, local, regional, national, European. And in this connection, democracy is to be free to choose one's own candidates. Since the establishment of the Five Star Movement, there were 72 votes to choose our candidates at all levels. The prime minister candidate, the president of the republic, the candidates to the Italian and the European parliament, but also the governors of the regions, mayoral candidates, and civic councillors, candidates in the municipalities. In our opinion, democracy is to define the government uh, programs together. Just to give you an example, the program that uh, led the, first star, the Five Star Movement uh, to the government has been proactively written and voted, voted on Rousseau by its members that expressed more than 2.4 million preferences spread over 26 votes, 104 questions and 348 priorities. Democracy is also to decide what to finance in order to decide where to allocate the salary cuts of regional councillors of the Five Star Movement. The members have evaluated over 350 projects for an amount of 1.2 million euro. Democracy is also giving a personal contribution to shape and draft a law to be proposed in the parliament. Through Lex Parliament, Lex Regions and Lex Europa, the Five Star Movement community has been able to participate in the drafting of over 600 acts presented by its own spokespersons who have seen more than 90,000 Rousseau members' interventions among amendments, changes, objections, suggestions, or report of defects of form. So democracy is also sharing good practices. On the sharing function of the platform, our spokesmen in the region and in the municipality have shared more than 3,000 acts between proposals for board resolutions, motions, agenda, bills, and the electoral programs. The concept of democracy means also studying. The e-learning application on the platform and the training uh, in the training meetings on the territories have promoted participation in courses and days of study for over than uh, 14,000 people. Democracy is to be proactive 
on one's own territory. It's just one year from uh, its release that call to action function gave birth to 4,148 active citizenship initiatives organized from below. About 70 events each week, with more than 400 were the official events that the local spokespersons of the Five Star Movement have organized in their territories and loaded on the activism function in just over six months. Democracy is to imagine the future. We have built a model of participation in political life that is unique in the world. With the Rousseau Open Academy, we decided to go farther, and we believe that democracy is more than a vote on a ballot, but a free and conscious exercise of the new individual and collective rights allowed by the use of the internet. We are experiencing a new season of participatory, participatory democracy in which we must be protagonists. On the basis of this consideration, maybe I think that you can say that Rousseau is not just a trend and direct and participatory democracy, as I said before, is the future. So considering what I said until now, you could think that our movement exists and acts only on internet. But nothing could be more wrong. On the most import, one of the most important strong points of the Five Star Movement is indeed the local participation and the activism of their members, whether or not they have been elected in some public body. We all mobilize our own capacities in order to be social actors rather than passive subjects. Each of us is committed to manage the resources, make decisions, and control the activities that affect our political and social lives, applying the principle one worth one. In this connection, every weekend, we are present in our territory to listen to the people, to explain our parliamentary or administrative activities, to decide together what actions has to be taken to face both local and national problems. It's therefore easy to understand how strong and vital are the ties between citizens, activists, and spokespersons of the Five Star Movement elected in the institutions at every level. Now it's time to talk about our government action. As you know, with the 32% of votes, we won the last national elections in Italy. Even, we, even if uh, we do not have uh, the absolute majority of, city, of seats in the parliament, we didn't escape from the responsibility to form a government. In this connection, we presented to the parliament our program and priorities in order to see which political force would like to take the honor and the responsibilities to change Italy with us according to these uh, premises. Only one party, the League of Matteo Salvini, accepted this challenge. Therefore, we signed a contract of government that doesn't mean a typical political alliance, but just a written agreement with a number of political goals that we are committed to reach in the next five years. I try to summarize some of these goals. First of all, public water. That is also one of our stars. Public water so means that the protection of the water as a common good as a referendum will express it in 2011. Environment, green economy and zero waste. Environment sustainability through uh, the decarbonized and, uh, economy, uh, energy efficiency and renewable sources, support of the green economy, research, innovation and training for ecological work uh, development, and promotion of the circular economy. Bank for investments and savings, establishment of a, an investment bank for small and medium enterprises, saving protection, separation between a credit bank and an investment bank. Conflict of interests, prediction of conflicts of interests in the presence of interference between a public interest and another public or private interest that could influence the objective exercise of a public function regardless uh, of an economic advantage. Application of the law also for non-governmental positions. Another main point is the defense, protection of the armed forces personnel, hiring new resources with increased uh, resources and uh, endowments, 
rationalization of resources in military expenditure, also with reference to the reform of the abandoned real estate assets. Review the international mission in relation to the actual national interest. About foreign affairs, acknowledgement of our membership of the At Atlantic Alliance, as well as of our alliance with the United States of America openness to Russia to strengthen trade relations. About uh, rapid and efficient justice, the separation of judiciary career, simplification and reduction of trials, enhancement of legitimate defense, tightening penalties for sexual violence, fair compensation for victims of violent crimes, prescription reform of crimes, penalty increases for theft, robbery, fraud, uh, speeding up of trials, uh, class actions for citizens and business, um, reduction of access to justice codes and building of new prisons. Immigration, so over, um, overcoming the Dublin regulation, respect for the principle of fair sharing of responsibilities uh, between uh, EU countries, repeat procedures for verifying the right to refugee status, transparency of public funds for the reception system, cooperation between countries. About job, introduction of the minimum early wage, reduction of the tax wage and simplification of bureaucratic procedures, strengthening of employment centers, contrast to the precariousness and to the effects of the Job Act, strengthening of work training pathways about the fight against corruption, increased penalties for crimes against the public administration, interdiction from public offices for corrupts and corrupting, introduction of undercover agent and provocative agent, strengthening of the National Anti-Corruption Authority, more protection for whistleblowers, strengthening interceptions, especially for corruption, strengthening of the crime on political mafia exchange vote, about the income of citizenship and pension of citizenship, the introduction of the citizenship income as a basic income for Italian citizens aimed at job reintegration. The support will amount to uh, 780 euros per month per person, based on the OECD scale for larger households. The beneficiary of the income will have to adhere to the job offers coming from the employment centers, maximum three proposals for uh, within two years, and in case of refusal, the benefit disease. An investment of two billion euros for the reform of employment centers. Uh, introduction of the pension of uh, citizenship in order to guarantee a minimum pension for those living below the minimum poverty line. About the institutional reforms, autonomy and democracy, uh, reduction of the numbers of the members of the parliament, introduction of the mandate constraint for uh, members of the parliament, strengthening of direct democracy, regional autonomy and a guarantee of funds in favor of local authorities, introduction of a proactive referendum, quorum suppression for abrogative referendums, strengthening of the legislative initiative, transparency on the financing of foundations connected to political parties, evaluation of the performance of the public administration managers, spending review laws and simplifying the public administration. About the healthcare, strengthening of funds for the public health service, protection of regional autonomy in the organization of health services, fight against waste, corruption and inefficiencies, about security, legality and law enforcement, uh, increase of funds, means and equipment, staff increase, uh, reorganization of the local police with increase of means and tasks, serious contrast to bullying, Contrast to gambling, speeding up of evictions for illegal occupants and repatriation of foreign illegal abusers. Investments in road safety. About the cuts of the costs of politics, costs of institutions and gold pensions. Cutting costs of politics, of useless bodies and privileges. Equalization of the social security system of parliamentarians, regional councillors, etc., to the social security system in force for all citizens, even for the past. Reduction of blue cars, 
state aircraft and personalized court services, cutting of gold pensions not justified by the contributions paid, about transport, infrastructure, and telecommunication, reduction of the use of vehicles powered by diesel and petrol engines, incentives for hybrid and electric vehicles, national infrastructure plan for the recharge of vehicles powered by electricity, strengthening of electric car sharing, development of urban and extra-urban cycle networks, investment of resources to equip ports, and modernization and upgrading of rail lines. About European Union, the derivation of the European intergovernmental agreements, uh, the fight against the counterfeiting and falsification of made in Italy products, rediscuss the Italian contribution to the EU, opposition to inter international free trade agreements such as uh, CETA, MES, China, and TTIP, and some of the most symbolic goals of our contract of government uh, have been already introduced in the first budget law that our government drafted. First of all, the introduction of the income and of the pension of citizenship. So these are, in a synthesis, the, um, yeah, the, 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 the principal items that you'll find in the contract of government between us and the League of Matteo Salvini. So often the Five Star Movement is accused of populism in the negative sense of the word uh, that means demagogy, cultural roughness, inconclusive rebellion. Honestly, we are not afraid to be called populists. In our opinion, indeed, we believe that if democracy is government of the people, populism means a people's movement. Therefore, it is a synonymous of democracy. We just think that we have no leftist or rightist ideologies. We think that we are simply on the side of citizens. And in this sense, we are proud to be considered populist. But there is no doubt that our political action is concrete and aimed at putting people's needs and rights at the heart of political decisions. Unfortunately, the European Union of the last years seems to have forget uh, that it has been established to create uh, an ever closer union among the peoples of Europe, in which decisions are taken uh, as openly as possible and as closely as possible to the citizen. This is, uh, we can find it in the Article 1 of the EU Treaty. In the last decades, it seems that uh, the main concern of EU was to protect banks and financial powers. Anyone, anyone concerns about the solidarity principles, like the migration crisis in the Mediterranean, and the fall of solidarity towards Italy is showing. So therefore, we believe that this Europe doesn't work properly in the interest of their citizens. But one thing must be clear. We are not against Europe. We are critical with this situation, but we would like to strengthen it renewing the spirit of solidarity and attention to the people aimed by the Founding Fathers. In this connection, we would like to propose a sort of third way to improve the rights as well as the economical and social conditions of European citizens. So thank you for your attention and uh, I remain here at your disposal for clarification and questions. Thank you very much.